Punch. Now, Gabon's dependence on oil has made its economy and political stability hostage to fluctuations in oil prices. But thanks to its oil exports and a small population, it enjoys more wealth per head of population than many of its neighbors. Joining us for a look at Gabon's oil industry is Adian, Adian Ngubu. He's the Gabon Minister of Oil. A very good afternoon to you, Minister. Now, could you kindly give us an insight into the dynamics of the oil industry in Gabon? Uh, afternoon. Can you repeat the question, please? Could you give us an insight into the oil industry in Gabon? I could, what I could say today about the oil industry in Gabon is uh, you are uh, actually um, on the way to reorganize our oil industry and to try to attract a new partner to develop the potential in Gabon. Uh, today I can say you, uh, you, you are able to stabilize our production and you are looking for more opportunity deep water. Uh, we got today in Gabon seven operators and 21 operators looking for exploration actually. There's talk that uh, new discoveries in Gabon will not be coming through any time uh, soon. When can we start seeing a decline in production in Gabon? Okay, uh, in Gabon actually, uh, we did a lot of work in the conventional area of oil industry. Now we have a new discovery in Latin America and Brazil. We are looking for new prospect in new geological area and we hope to find some oil. Some company now is working on that and we are dealing with new partners from deep offshore. The, for the next coming months, we have the opportunity to do some uh, great discovery in deep water and actually three companies working on that. We got Total from uh, France, uh, Perenco also from France and Shell from uh, UK. And we hope to have a new discovery in uh, coming months in our country. When looking at hydrocarbons over in, in Gabon, they account for about 50% of GDP in the country. Could we perhaps see that figure being maintained throughout uh, 2012? Yes, definitely. I'm coming that we can maintain this participation to a GDP and maybe to increase it. But we got also a new challenge in, in our country. Uh, our policy actually is to develop the um, uh, commitment of Gabonese interest in the oil industry to improve also the uh, financial coming, incoming in our, our GBP and also to develop a new area of opportunity like the petrochemical industry. But uh, for the deep water, for example, we hope to uh, double our production with a new dis discovery in this area. Now, the uh, new code for hydrocarbons is expected to come into effect in March 2012, 2013. I mean, how far are we in this process? Okay, uh, as I told you before, we already uh, managed to improve our participation in the oil industry. And the new um, aspect of our regulation is already in place. And we want to uh, put it in the new oil codes and we hope to have this new oil code um, available for the industry at the beginning of next year because we plan to uh, launch a tender for the deep water opportunity. Uh, this tender is called the Round 10 and we hope to launch it in the beginning of next year. Now we've got a number of uh, other emerging uh, producers on the African continent like uh, Angola, Kenya and uh, Ghana. How big of a threat are these economies that are coming up in terms of oil discoveries uh, to Gabon? Uh, you know, we got a lot of new uh, prospect in oil industry in Africa with a new discovery around the Victoria Lake. And with all this country, uh, we uh, still have the opportunity to uh, interest a partner in uh, our area. We still look after the new discovery in this area and try to, try to improve the condition of intervention of a partner in our country. And we hope to get some good lessons from this new discovery and uh, to maintain production at the right level. 
We did have a major strike uh, in uh, April uh, 2012, which had did affect uh, the, the industry quite significantly. But uh, when we look at the type of foreign companies uh, that are in Gambon, Gabon at this stage, how is the government uh, controlling operations of those uh, companies? We have a very attractive legislation in our country and uh, all our activities based on partnership between the government and the investor. We got a strong um, commitment to control production and to maintain uh, the level of uh, expertise at the, right, at the right size and right level and I think our control is mainly based on the day-to-day -day, uh, commitment and day-to-day uh, -day, uh, exchange between operator and country. Well, that's where we have to leave it. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. That was Etienne Ngobo. He's the Gabon Minister of Oil.